不想让我把你灌醉，再占你的便宜。我还没想好。你真会挑逗我。今夜良宵，只要一晚，所有烦恼都会烟消云散。滚开！别来烦恼。没看我这房子的吗 ？Well, Montreal is the last city hub, so there can't be much of it after that. 太上风景了。嗯、oh, ，shit, it's gone. My pocket secretary. 对，那又怎样 ？My pocket secretary's gone. No, man, you don't understand. Tong's email. The new basement security code. It was on it. I know. I know. Just keep an eye out for it, will ya? 男人的浴室在楼下。I said the man's room is downstairs. Yeah, I'm busy. Ask the bartender if he needs something. Yeah, I'm speaking English, so I know you understand. Move along. Man, these guys are jerks. 干嘛？别烦我啦！人吧，是吗？对不起。也许吧。Sure. Right the children? Yeah. What kind of world are we leaving for them? China's environmental record is getting worse and worse every year. We pretty much have the monopoly on human enhancement technology. Sure, take the cake. Listen, I just want a party tonight. I don't really want. We're the most powerful country in this world, and we don't take care of it. How does that make any sense? At least we have the Panchayas of this world to give me a shred of hope. And don't even get me started on human rights abuses. I'll try not to. Why can't we make profits and be conscious of what we do at the same time? That's all I'm asking for. Some people just don't want to hear the truth. Some people just people don't want to so hear the truth. People are so worried about what happens tomorrow when they should just worry about today. And today, I want another drink. Tomorrow, I'll probably want one. You're not a Chinese person, right? Wow, how beautiful jacket! I wonder, is my jacket leather or is it magic future material? Future magic. Magic future material. I mean, it doesn't seem to. Ever be damaged? No matter how much I get shot. They say the owner of this place is awesome. You know, with a triad, smuggling, worse, right out of basement. Mr. Tong must have an office down there. I've seen some dangerous-looking people head that way. You caught this old man. Let's come back up. You enjoying the hive? Lots of people from upper city come here. Like to see how the other half lives. They don't wander too far from the club, though. It's unsafe if you don't know the streets down here. They don't wander too far from the club. I wonder if they, anyone minds if I jump on the bar. Want some drinks? Come on, let's go. Don't be a bother. Wander more easily. Hmm. Nope. 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 Nothing important here, anyway. The new station is empty. Picus. Yeah. You want tea, ma? You what? You? You want something, old man? I really want to punch this guy. Come on, you young American lad. Come to our country, but don't talk about our words. Fools! Just, just, you just a fool. 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 Wait. Where am I supposed to meet Tong upstairs, like the guy said? There are no VIP rooms as far as I can see. What's his name? You have to take the stairs up. They're very easy to miss. Yeah, I did. I'm on the you second the, floor. The... But, I mean, after I spied the cutscene downstairs, do I still need to? I guess so. Because I don't even see the VIP room. If the objective is still... He's net, he's, um, I think he's at a small bar. He's the Asian guy with the burn on his eye and a robot arm. Yeah, last I saw he was downstairs when I saw the cutscene, when I stuck around downstairs. I think he's, um, you know the, the top floor with the curtain with the keypad next to it? Yeah. There's a small bar next to that. Yeah. That's where he should be when I he's spoke to him. He's not in the bar. Huh. 
So I guess if I sneak downstairs, something different happens than if I don't. Interesting. I got the information either way. Day of six. Full of surprises. Okay, now I just get out of here. If I leave by the front, will the bouncer get mad? Okay, let's save and find out. Bouncer's still cool. He's like, whatever. Okay, I check my quest mark. There's an uh, email here, but it's in French. I need to meet Van Bruggen in the Alice Garden Pods. Gotcha. That means I need to get back to the pods. Stick with the pods. In any case, we're police. It's never gonna get old. Ever. I gotta admit, these city hubs are pretty well constructed. Like, they give you a feeling that you could go everywhere, even though there's not that much there. Though, as big as Hengsha is, like, there's not as much there as there was in Detroit. Detroit was ridiculously full of stuff. So it's kind of clear that they sort of petered out in in time and money, you know, as they went along. But that's sort of how all games are, really. I never asked for this. Oh, well. Oh, hey, cut Jensen, I... Hey, Malik. I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you, I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? No. Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... Oh, hey, I got the Malik question. She deserved now. better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're Does so damn curious. Really walk around in her flight Years ago, I used to live here, remember? Yes. My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She's she was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then like, there I was go to an the accident. hive and dance she, in this flight suit. She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. Okay. I thought it was okay with it, I, but... I'm gonna be honest, I think she was I born know. in it. I know <laughs> she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. But... That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. 
They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Hmm. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot too, knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poison, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Okay. Malik, don't take this the wrong way, but I need some kind of incentive to justify any complications that might arise. I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. <laughs> I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? That's by movie You'll find quotes. him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengsha Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should Mr. read over everything Anonymous you X. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. I'm not just anonymous, Contact me with I'm any anonymous updates X. And... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Okay, check pod 009. I forget how these things are even numbered. Okay, so if this is two, where's two two four two two six? So wouldn't zero zero nine be like on the zeroth floor? I don't understand. I believe it's actually the top floor. Oh, yeah. It's it's the one just before. Crazy Chinese reverse numbering schemes. In the front. Okay, here's the 300s. Is there a guy I want to meet here? Oh, hey, I found a Pepsi energy pack. What was the number I was looking for? 300 something? 302. Yeah. 
It's in the 